In this video, you'll go through the basics of designing a website in ReadyMag. Let's start with the interface. In ReadyMag, the design process happens entirely in the editor. It loads whenever you create or update a project. You can create a new project simply by clicking the plus icon at the top left of the screen. Now in front of us is the editor with two docks at the bottom, left and right. On the left dock, we put panels for adding widgets, arranging layers, creating responsive layouts for different devices. A panel of pages settings. On the right are the second order items, design modes, grids, and project settings. You can create a project from scratch or use a pre-made template. Templates are stored in the Pages panel on the left dock. However, in this tutorial, we'll show you how to create a project from nothing. First, let's see how to add and edit basic widgets in ReadyMag. Hit the plus icon on the left dock at the bottom of the screen and choose any widget. From text, picture, shape, video, and button to forms and slideshows. Once the widget is added to the screen, you'll see the Widget Properties toolbar on the right. It allows you to style the widget's content, position it on the page, animate it, lock it, and even more. Let's try to tweak the properties of the text widget. If you want to change the font, click Topography on the right toolbar and choose from over 5,000 integrated fonts. Adjusting font size works as follows. Simply drag the appropriate toggle or type in the values. Changing the tracking looks pretty similar. We're done with the headline. Now let's add some more text blocks. In ReadyMag, you can also set different properties for various chunks within one block of copy and create text styles so that they appear throughout the project. To make the most of ReadyMag, please watch our tutorial about the text widget. Now, let's see how to add images. Go to the Add Widget panel and click on the Picture widget. The appropriate formats are JPEG, PNG, and GIF, while the maximum size is up to 6 megabytes. In ReadyMag, you can tweak images on the spot. There are also crop and rotation tools. Let's see how cropping works. First, choose the crop tool. The borders of the bounding box around the image change color to red when selected. Drag the borders to define the crop area. Easy, right? By the way, you can always adjust cropping later. Now let's scale the image up so that it takes up half of the page. Adjust the size of the image by dragging the blue dots of the bounding box. Done. Now let's see how to add graphic shapes. Hit the plus icon or click W and select the shape widget. Its properties can be changed as well. You can set the outline color, outline thickness, and radius. To add an icon, select the star icon in the Properties toolbar and pick one from the list or browse more icons. The latter option is available only on paid plans. If you want to collect, let's say, feedback from your project visitors, forms can come in handy. You can add up to six different types of fields. Now, we'll create a simple form and specify the attributes fields. Still a bit of tweaking needed. Let's select the horizontal layout. Set the spacing between the fields, color, radius, and change a font. Then set up the form button. Oh. 
To keep all elements aligned on a page, use the Grid and Guides panel. It's nested in the right dock. First, we'll adjust the number of columns, with a gutter between them and the margins in pixels, and then align the elements. When you create a new project, its layout is automatically scaled to the width of your screen. This feature is called Scale Layout. If you want to limit the width of scaling or disable it, turn off the toggle. To hide the guides, simply press H. To change how the widgets stack on the page, open the Layers panel and drag the icon of the desired widget up or down. Moreover, you can hide any widget. For that, use the eye icon on the panel. It might be useful when there is no need for a widget, but you don't want to delete it. Now, let's fix all the graphic elements on the left so that we can make only the right side of the page scrollable. To do so, choose the widget and open the Fix Position panel. Then, select the page edge to position the widget. Also, we'll make the headline and menu display on all pages. Next, it's time to adjust the page height. To ensure that the page length is appropriate, Drag the blue diamond icon at the bottom of the screen. Then we can change the background color. Go to the left dock, open the Layers panel, and choose Background. There are several background options here. Solid color, picture, slideshow, and video. If you choose a solid color, you can always add colors to the swatches by clicking on the plus icon at the right bottom of the panel. Another way is to set the values directly by changing the hex codes. If you want to use an image as a background, switch to the Image tab. There, you can browse thousands of high-resolution photos from the world's photo communities. All images come with a Creative Commons license. Any of them can be made semi-transparent so that the background color shines through. Video background can be uploaded directly from your computer. Let's see how to add new pages to the project. One way is to duplicate an existing page. Go to the Pages panel on the left dock and click the duplicate icon. On this page, we will leave the left side unchanged while adding an image and a text block on the right. Remove unnecessary widgets and replace just the content of the text boxes to keep the settings. Then we'll create a slideshow on the second page. Choose it from the list of widgets and add images. Go to the Widget Properties toolbar and specify how the slideshow should look. Choose Navigation Arrows from the library. Here, you can also set up the transition between images. Let's make it simple and choose a crossfade with a zero second duration. Now, we'll align the widgets to the grid. Besides the default desktop layout, you can also add tablet and mobile layouts for your pages. To do so, click the devices icon at the bottom left corner of the dock. When you activate Mobile Layout, the page is automatically rendered based on the screen size and widgets are stacked in a single column. But it doesn't apply to widgets with the On All Pages option enabled. Let's tweak the layout a bit. Enlarge the picture and make the text block smaller. No worries, these changes will not affect the desktop version. There are two more ways to arrange widgets on the pages. Resize desktop to mobile, and one-to-one -one desktop layout. For a more thorough walkthrough of mobile layouts in ReadyMag, please watch our tutorial. Go to Preview Mode and open the Viewer panel. Here you can choose how website visitors will navigate through pages. By default, pages are stacked horizontally. You can also tweak some viewer settings here. Let's disable the menu items and sharing button. The navigation arrows are disabled by default. 
Note that there are separate viewer settings for every layout format, desktop, mobile, and tablet. Use the one, two, three keys to switch between them. For mobile, we'll toggle on the vertical navigation and keep the project menu button visible. Once the navigation is horizontal and navigation arrows are disabled, the project's pages are accessible only via direct links. These links could be used to customize a menu. Let's see how it works. Go back to editing and set the link style in the menu. Open the link panel, select a link type from the list, and click the plus button. Then specify how the link should look. You can make it change appearance on hover and set a current style, applicable only for widgets with the on all pages option enabled. Current style defines how the link looks when a visitor is on the page that the link points to. Before we move on to final touches, let's go the extra mile and show how to get the objects in motion using animation presets. Let's make the elements on the left fade in on load. Set the duration and check how it works by pressing the preview button. Then copy these animation settings with Shift plus Control plus C and apply them to both menu and picture. For the objects on the right, we'll add move and fade animations. This time, we specify the pixels and axis along with the object will move. Again, we'll use the hotkeys and apply the animation to the other widgets. That's it. Now to publishing. Open the project settings and name your project. You can also protect the page with a password and map a domain here. Then click the eye icon at the bottom right to preview the project and make sure it looks as intended. Once ready, click the Publish button. Congrats! Your website is live and accessible via a public link. You can always find more tutorials and tips at readymag.com learn.